We are still dealing with the aftermath of big storms that are blamed for at least 23 fatalities. They hit the East Coast yesterday. Highways around Baltimore flooded by heavy rains, and the storm also shut down Atlanta's airport. That's a big one for a while, causing hundreds of flight delays on a record-breaking travel day. Roxana Saberi is at New York's LaGuardia Airport, which was also hit hard yesterday. Roxana, good morning to you. Tony, the morning is going pretty smoothly so far here at LaGuardia, but yesterday nearly four out of every 10 flights was delayed and there were dozens of cancellations. This is one of several airports across the country where many travelers had bumpy returns to reality after the holiday weekend. Torrential hail in Texas and severe wind up and down the eastern seaboard hampered many of the estimated 44 million people traveling over the long holiday weekend. You were supposed to get home at what time? Today at like 7. Yeah. And instead you're getting home? Tomorrow at midnight. Mm -hmm. 1 oh, a.m.? Yeah, wow. about 1 a.m. That's, yeah, quite a delay. Yeah, 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 we're pretty upset about it. Brianna Hernandez and Candy Roman came to New York to sightsee, but their flight home to Houston was one of nearly 600 canceled nationwide. Was this trip worth it? I mean, it was a great trip. We went New York, we went sightseeing, it was cool, but right now, it doesn't I, seem that worth it. No, yeah, I mean, I would rather be at home with my kids at this point. More than 8,000 flights were delayed Monday, crippling many major airports, including Atlanta, Dallas, Chicago, and the New York area. Henry Bianucci's flight out of LaGuardia Airport was among them. Getting out of the Uber and feeling the wind is, uh, I'm, I'm kind of okay with them waiting. You'd rather wait and be safe? Yes. And from runways to highways, more delays for travelers. The Departee family drove from North Carolina to New Jersey Friday to visit relatives. On Monday, they headed home early to avoid bad weather. This morning it showed uh, everywhere uh, storms everywhere, but it's, it's looking good now, so good. We, are, we are hoping. Good. And we're not done with the turbulent weather. Storms hitting Texas later today could make travel rough for people heading into or out of Dallas.